Whenever you two are ready, can you explain what you've built? Go for it. <laughs> yes, so uh, our project is something where you can put in a resistor between the two clamps and then it'll display the resistor value on the display. Um, and you can choose between three series of resistors, so three band, four band, five band resistors using the first, uh, second, and third buttons. And then the fourth button is an audio trigger that will read out the value of the resistor. And then there's an LED lamp in the back that will display in colors what the resistance bands are. And there is okay. also a legend um, on the right side that shows you exactly uh, what each color corresponds to. Uh, it's important to say that the display one, it's uh, over time. So okay. it's a fluctuation of the actual resistance you're gonna put. Uh, whereas when you press the button, the color in the lamp and the audio that is gonna come out is the instantaneous one when the button is pressed. Gotcha. Uh, so it's not gonna be extremely precise. It's not gonna be an average, but it's gonna be the instantaneous one calculated at, the, at that moment. Okay. So what do you want to start with? <laughs> Let's see. We have prepared a bunch of them. Let's just do that top. So that's a 4.3K. Okay, 4.3K. So by multimeter, this should measure 4.26K and by color band is a 4.3. Ah, it so it's measuring around 4.37. Okay. Uh, so for uh, 4,307 something resistance. In the color coding should be a four band, I believe. So if you go to the four band, it's gonna give you 4.44 4, uh, times 100, 44,400 uh, 4, with a tolerance of 2%. The tolerance is not exactly the same because in the code, the measuring of the tolerance uses the, uh, the measured value and not the original value that the resistor is supposed to be. Yeah. So it's almost impossible to get the perfect tolerance sure. that the resistor shows. Uh, the same thing happens if I do the, uh, the three band, it's gonna show everything except the tolerance. Yeah. And with a five band, it's gonna show um, four, four, in this case, zero, because it took the zero instantaneous, but if I- The resistance is four, three, eight, eight ohms. Uh, if I press uh, the five series a bunch of time, this can flicker to a different value depending on the instant. Sure. One. Okay. Uh, and yeah, uh, with the fourth button, it takes the instantaneous resistance at that exact moment and spits it the out. The resistance is four, three, four, seven ohms. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so is is there a match? I'm trying to look closely at this, but I, there is a match here between yes. the colors that display here and the colors so on the resistor. this is yellow and yellow, and by the legend here it says it's a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, the third value, in this case with the 5 series, fluctuates. So yeah. in this case it's a 0, so it's 440 times 10. So yes. Uh, times 10, which is 4,400. Sure. Cool. And with the 4 series, it's easier to see because it says 44 times 100 with a, uh, in this case, a tolerance of 1%. That's awesome. <laughs> so this one is 15K. So we're gonna try now. And when you plug it in, it says 14, 4, uh, 14.8 sure. um, K. And it's a four, still a four band. So here's the four band when one, five, uh, uh, times 10, uh, times, sorry, 100, yeah. Which is exactly what you'd expect. Yeah. That is times a thousand, really cool. cool. It, this is orange. Yeah. And then if the I resistance it, is 1, 4, 9, 0, 6 ohms. There you go. <laughs> that is really cool. So, so, am I correct that you're measuring the resistance by means of the ADC? Measuring the voltage across yes. the yeah. resistor? Yeah. Uh, you did that part. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we have one um, kind of base resistor that uh -huh. we're using it as a voltage divider. So we're measuring the point between that resistor and this one. So then that node goes into the ADC. 
Gotcha. So there's there's a resistor with a known value yes, underneath correct. here. Yes. This forms the other resistor in a voltage divider, yeah. and you measure the voltage. Correct. And, the voltage. Okay. and we measure the voltage out to the ADC, and then recalculate back the resistor using that voltage. Sure. Using the voltage divider formula. Okay. And I believe we put that 10k. Yeah. As a resi as a base resistor. Okay. Okay. And then the audio. Mm -hmm. Can you? Describe how you're getting the the audio to come out. This, this is mine. Uh, <laughs> so it took a long time, but the general gist is that there is a DMA channel um, used to fire the the audio, and uh, we recorded twelve audios. Uh, from zero to nine is the first ten, and then the eleventh one is the phrase the resistance is, and mm -hmm. then the last one is ohms, and basically. Uh, the audio channel works that when this button is pressed, the resistance is one, four, nine, zero, six ohms. When that button is pressed, we start immediately. The main channel fires the resistance is, uh -huh. and then uh, the instantaneous resistance taken then is transferred into an array of characters in ASCII, which uh, then loops through and checks each digit. And when it finds a digit that corresponds to a certain audio reconfigures the DMA channel, fires it, waits around 700 milliseconds, yeah. and then continues to the next digit, and so on and so on. And when it finishes it, the, when it finishes the array, it just fires the last one that each ohms, and then it stops there. Okay, okay. The whole thing done in a thread. So, so the verbalization of each digit and of the phrase the resistance is, is stored in memory. Correct. And then you're telling a DMA channel, go yes. play that one, go play that one, go play that one, based it's on what 12 WAV files, transform it in C arrays, store it in, in flash memory uh, uh, in, a, in a header file, and then the code in the thread just access it and fires it through the DMA channels. Gotcha. Uh, and the color, am I correct that this is, uh, it's an RGB LED strip? Yes. Is it the same strip that forms this sort of decorative band that also correct. goes in here? In here there are specific there's I believe, LEDs in there. and we divided each LED uh, starts from zero to fourteen. Each LED to a certain position, and then when you select, select for example, the three band, uh, the three band, it is a certain LEDs get their actual colors, and yeah. the others are just background to facilitate that color. And then same thing for the four band and mm -hmm. five band. So physically, the LEDs in the lamp and the LEDs for decor are separate. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. It's really, really a nice tool. Awesome, thank you both. Any Anything else either of you want to say about it? Or is that about uh, I don't know, is there anything else? We, we tried to make it as portable as possible. <laughs> okay, yes. uh, it's getting there. Yeah. It's getting there. Unfortunately, we couldn't uh, detach uh, can the speakers a little bit. We couldn't detach the speakers from a, a single po position, but everything else is detached and works uh, using a. It's a all battery, battery, a battery powered. powered. Right, yeah. right, right. Awesome. Which feeds, I believe, 4.5 volts yeah, 4 .5. Yes. into the whole board sure. under it. So, right now, mm -hmm. if you exclude the audio, you can take this and bring it anywhere. That's really cool. Awesome, thank you both, that's a really cool demo.